So, so when you get troubled or when you get uh, 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 perplexed, or uh, uh, that last one he used was uh, persecuted. Is anybody here uh, is beyond persecution? No, you're going to be persecuted on a day to day basis. The devil is going to persecute you. He's going to put you in a situation, circumstance where you're going to be persecuted. On your job, you're going to be persecuted. On, wherever you go, you can go to the supermarket. And somebody in the supermarket don't like you. you that was mine. I, but I got it first. But you didn't you see me going to. I mean, the devil is going to do whatever he can do to, to disrupt your peace of mind. So, so being troubled and being per, per, perplexed and, to, and, and being distressed, no one is going to be free from that. So when it happens, then you have to know that, that you have a redeemer that can give you the, 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 the word to overcome that. You have to know that. A lot of times he'll, he'll, he'll come to you, he'll come to you, he said, I think it was in, uh, oh, Joel, I think it was. He says, uh, young men shall dream dreams and old men shall have, or young men old shall men have visions. Dream, dream, and old men shall have visions. Vision. You know, but he'll come, to, he'll come to you in a dream. Mm -hmm. And then you say, well, what, what, what that dream was all about? You ever had one of the dreams? Yeah. But if you stay in the Word, when you have that dream, you don't know what he's talking about. You, have, you, know, you need to go to somebody and ask them, well, you know, what about this? But if you stay in the word, then God he will show you. It'll be just as plain. You come out the dream and you'll just be able to interpret the dream right, right there. The devil, he uh he came to me, I don't know, just a couple nights ago. I was I was laying there on the on, I was laying in the bed and I was you know, kind of wrestling with the sleep, but I finally went on to sleep. But when I went to sleep, uh, in, I had a dream. And uh, when I was in the world, you know, I remember the world. You know, uh, I'd wake up in the morning time and uh, whatever I want, whatever situation I wanted, however I wanted to feel that, that day, and that's what, if I wanted to smoke me a joint, I'd smoke me a joint. And in this dream, uh, Sister Lynette, I was, I was hitting the joint, oh, and I said, "This devil is alive." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this was two days ago. Two days oh, ago, no, I had a dream. Recently. Yeah, oh, recently. I said, "Devil, you was alive," <laughs> because I would have, I would wrestle with my sleep, and I said, "I said, I said, I'm, gonna, I'm going to sleep in a minute." Now. <laughs> and then when I kept woke up, when I had this dream, and I woke up. Because at, at first I said, no, this, I said, I'm not drinking. I said, I ain't hitting no joint. <laughs> and, and, and when I woke up, I knew what it was. I didn't have to. I said, that's the devil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said, that devil is trying to get me back into the world. 